I'd like to welcome to the show director Leslie Ann Thomas and two stars of the upcoming film Honesty Weekend, Evan Watkins and Adam Bartley. How is everybody doing today? Great. Very good, thank you. Also great. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty Weekend is about an ensemble relationship comedy about a young couple whose marriage is in crisis. Their therapist prescribes a weekend of total honesty. The same weekend, they're going to the country with close friends for a blowout good time. Leslie, you wrote and directed this. What inspired you to write this? I wanted to create a movie that I knew I could produce. So I wanted it to be, you know, kind of tight and fun and relatable. Um, so that was the big, uh, the big concept there. And then also I went to a dinner party once with friends. Um, they were hosting it and they had just had a really gnarly fight right before everybody arrived. And so the entire evening they were like talking through gritted teeth, past the potatoes. Like it was just, I thought it was one of the most hilarious things I'd ever experienced in my life. And so I thought, what if some friends went away for a weekend and one of the main couples was having issues? That's good. Um, okay, so Adam, to you, this is different from any other project that I think I've ever seen you in. What attracted you to the role of Harry? Uh, it's funny. I, I was actually home in Minnesota, spending time with my family, and um, I just got the audition, and I just I read the, the sides for it, and I instantly was like, oh, this is awesome. I, I, I instantly loved what I read. I instantly just wanted to throw it down on camera, which is what I did. You know, sometimes you, you do an audition, and you, you spend... A good, a good day working on it. And sometimes it's just like, oh, I got this guy. And you just throw it down because you your instinct, you you know, you got to trust your instincts and, and, um, and it worked out. I mean, I, I just think, I think it's uh, an interesting premise, an interesting idea. I think a lot of people probably don't, a lot of relationships aren't very honest with each other. And, um, you know, I actually really like, it, it appealed to me to to be in a relationship and to be struggling in, in a relationship in the film. I, I haven't really played a role like that before, so. Uh, Evan, to you, everyone seems to be, and this can be both to Evan and Adam here, but everybody seems to be having a blast on set. You know, I there's some serious nature tone to the film as well, but it seems like everybody had a good time. What was it like being on the set during this? Uh, well, that was all manufactured. We didn't get along uh, in any way, shape, or form. It was, can, I uh, turn it was... off his, can I turn off his camera? <laughs> he doesn't want to see me. Yeah, we don't want to. Uh, no, obviously, I'm joking. That was uh, it. It. I think that's the the secret sauce of the film, really. And um, you know, the fact that it. You know, I mean, like uh, director Robert Zemeckis once said to quote. Uh, you know, great directing is great writing and great casting, and that does a lot of the work, right? And I think that, uh, to Leslie's credit, like she wrote an amazing script and uh, cast it super well, and obviously directed it super well. But I think that it made her life easier that we all got along and had such a great time filming this movie, and we were allowed to play and invent things, and uh, you know, sort of play around the guidelines of the characters in the script, and that made all the difference, really. Uh, to you, Adam. Yeah, I mean. You know, I've, I've been working for about 10 years on camera and um, I will tell you of all the different TV shows I've done or movies or things like that and many different sort of capacities. Um, I've never before encountered a situation where you show up to do something and you fall in love with the people so quickly. And uh, it's that's never quite happened before. And that, you know, there's really a magic to that. And I, I mean, that's really Leslie sort of just not only finding good people for the roles, but realize, you know, finding good people. That's not easy to do. And um, yeah, I mean, we just, we just, when we met, we were all just like, oh, we're all on the same page. And I just want to hang out with you people and let's create. And, you know, cheers to Leslie because she saw that and was like, you know, we're going to get the script. On, we're going to get a few takes that I intended, but we're also going to make way for these guys to just go and play. And that just yeah. does not happen very often at all. It's just really attributed to her. Leslie, to you, the tone is filled with laughs, but there's a lot of heart and there's a lot of drama behind the scenes that kind of pull you a couple different ways. How was it trying to find that balance while writing this script? That's a great question. Um, I'm always drawn to movies who can, um, that can um, play with that line. You know, like it, that can be, I felt like the, the key to all of it was if I could make these characters super relatable and real, 
that I could then get away with the comedy and the outrageousness as well as going down um, some more dramatic paths with them. Um, so the more that we stripped away, and Adam was like super Nazi about this, as was Evan. It's got to be truthful. It's got to be real. Um, even if we're doing silly crap, you know, like it's just, and so we just all agreed to that and trusted each other. And because that reality was there, because that baseline genuine emotion and, and, and connection was there with everybody, when it would take the turn from the, the comedy into the drama, I, you just went with it. And, and I trusted that, man. And that's why I was super picky about the acting and the actors when I was casting. And, and my, I had great casting directors. Um, and they were like, hey, it's like your first movie. You need to <laughs> maybe just take what you can get. And I'm like, mm -mm, not happening. I, 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 ha I have a vision and I know what I need. And these guys, oh my God, they were amazing from day one. Adam, to you, your relationship within this with Stella is, it's a lot of fun, right? And as it take that tone to seriousness for you, um, what was it like kind of playing that role of like the, the fun guy, but also you, you and Stella have that really serious nature of what's going on with your relationship behind the scenes as well? Yeah, I mean, I, I really related to it. You know, I'm, I'm a 42 year old guy who, uh, you know, still occasionally acts like he's 21. And, uh, you know, I'm just, all my friends are married and have kids and, you know, some of their kids are like, I'm going to their, you know, high school plays and things like that. And, you know, it's, um, I related to the feeling that I think a lot of guys feel, which is like, she's my girlfriend. It's great. We love each other, but why do we, why do we have to, why do we have to keep going further? I, I, I'm scared to like be an adult and go and do those things. And, being stuck in that in uh, fear of not making, you know, of, of making a decision on where you want to go with your partner in your relationship. And, you know, uh, that appealed to me. I, I, and, you know, Dione was, was so great. We, we hit it off right away. We were really comfortable. You know, we knew we had some intimate stuff to do and um, it was such a relief for both of us to, to have that other person that was like, okay, we can just, we can we can play this and, and enjoy this, but yeah, I was I related to this character a lot, you know. Now, obviously, this is a testament to Leslie as well. But the way they were shot was like nothing we've ever really seen before on camera. Because while those intimate scenes are very intimate, it's also very funny. Like there's a that one scene where you're trying to film the sex tape, and and to me, like when you have these moments, what is it like being in there? And I know you said you had a good partner there with with uh, Diana. What was it like, kind of being in that moment? Okay, yeah, I, I, I'll just say, um, well, you know, Leslie just made it so easy and relaxed and fun and, and um, you know, just was, she cared about the intimacy uh, part of it. And we had a lot of those scenes in the film between a lot of us and she just was, she handled it with care. And, you know, there were certain scenes where it was, there was, everybody was out of the room and it was just the people that had to be there. Um, yeah, she created a really nice little comfortable little space for us to be a little risky and be a little brave and do things we hadn't really done on camera before both Dione and I hadn't really done anything like that before on camera and so it was all new to us anyway and you know for us to be able to go to go through that all we, we knew that all we had was each other and you know to and Leslie just helped block out all the distractions and just let honest beautiful things happen you know I mean it, it's really important and you just don't get that you know you don't get that most of the time, I, I would say, yeah. Evan, to you, um, your relationship is is probably a lot of fun in this. Can you relate to John at all? Yeah, I, I certainly can. But it, it's funny when I watched the film, I uh, after having some distance from playing the character, I was like, this guy's a, a kind of a dick. <laughs> I was like watching it with my fiance, and she's kind of looking at me. I'm like, it's a character, I, you know. But uh, no, I mean, I can relate for sure. I mean, I, um, I, I mean, I don't have any children of my own, but I imagine that that adds a ton of stress to a relationship because it, it becomes less about putting your attention on the other person and what they need. It's like, well, now we're both kind of working at the factory of our kid and like, you're not pulling your weight here, you know, uh, doing your job, taking care of the kid or whatever. And obviously people have their own needs and their own wants and desires that as you get older, butt up against those, you know, biological urges for children and for romance and all that stuff. Um, 
but yeah, I, I can definitely relate uh, to the Amazon box thing for sure. Um, you know, the, the beginning of the movie when I'm upset about like she keeps buying stuff on Amazon. I mean, I'm I'm kind of going through that at this point too <laughs> with my significant other. But um, me, me as well, me as well. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I think that you know overall though, I think I where, where John and I split is that I, I've done a lot of work on trying to not let that stuff get to me um, and just be a little more zen about it, but. You know, if that was a character in a movie, it wouldn't be very fun or interesting to watch. So thank God he exists, you know. Uh, Leslie, to you, there's a couple of good twists and turns in this film that I, I was a little bit caught off guard whenever I was watching it because um, not a lot of comedy movies, in my opinion, take a lot of risk. And you took some risk towards the end of the film. Take us behind, obviously not spoiling it too much for anybody that hasn't watched it, but kind of take us behind your ideas of, of kind of spicing it up a little bit towards the end of the movie. Um, well, I was making a small film and I needed some fireworks. Um, and I didn't have the budget for actual <laughs> special effects fireworks and craziness. So I got a little crazy with the story um, and with some characters and some secrets and some revelations. And, uh, and I thought that would really um, help uh, at a couple of points in the movie to really spice it up. And I'm glad you saw that in, in and uh, and it thought it worked because um, that's I, I I was writing it and I'm like okay straightforward straightforward oh we got to throw in a curveball here and um, and that's what I did. So I like to ask this fun question before I end all my interviews and it's going to be um, what is your go-to karaoke song? I know we all have got one and I'm gonna give mine first. Mine is Living on a Prayer. Um, I love doing Living on the Prayer. I can't sing for anything, which obviously it's a high-pitched song, so it doesn't really go well ever. But uh, Adam, you look like you're, you're, you're eager and ready to go, man. What do you got for me? <laughs> oh, it's just funny. I, I, just, I just posted a, a, a song, a karaoke song on my Instagram page because, you know, we're all sitting at home waiting and bored. And, um, but my go-to is always Billy Joel. It always has been. And it's uh, she's always a woman to me. That's the that's that's the one I always take. Oh, <laughs> I love it. You know, I love look, it. Look, look, you gotta you gotta try to find a way to, you know, get in with uh, some of the ladies at the bar. I, I've seen this happen in person. I we he and I were just talking about this. We 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 did karaoke together about a week after the shoot, and. Uh, he sang that song and it, it worked pretty well. Uh, a lot of attention was, was put upon this man and it, I was very jealous. He's also a really good singer though. <laughs> He's incredibly good, yes, it's true. Thank you. Evan? Uh, you know, it's funny, I, I also, uh, I'll, I'll give you two. I do Billy Joel, but I go for a deep cut. I do Vienna, because uh, that one's, you know, it's, it's a weird tempo. It's a cool song. I it's I can sort of pull it off. And then if I'm feeling like a little wild, I'll do uh, "Dead or Alive" by Bon Jovi. That's a that's a fun one and not that hard to sing. But you know, Bon Jovi doesn't really. It's like it's like girls today don't know who Bon Jovi is. Like you know what? <laughs> it's, it's what's it's, ha it's, what's <laughs> happening to the world? They're talking about Maroon Five. I don't even know who. They, come on, some space kind of metal, rock. A metal band. Evan's got a metal band. Like he's a he's in a band. <laughs> he's literally in a band. I have a guitar right here. See, there we go. <laughs> but um, no, yeah, yeah. Either of those two. But uh, God, I haven't done karaoke in so long. You're making me sad. <laughs> you got to yeah. improvise sometimes and just do it at home, right? You know, like Adam mm -hmm. did. You know what I mean? Leslie, yeah, I mean, you have to answer as well. I got to answer as well. Okay, you guys. In all seriousness, Santeria by Sublime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a oh, great I, choice. I feel that. You know, that, yeah. that, that, that. I love it. Yeah, this is the point yeah. of time where the interview turns into a karaoke session. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm all in for that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, Santa Cruz. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Thank you guys so much for your time today. It is greatly appreciated. Honesty Weekend was a lot of fun to watch and you guys were fantastic in it. So thank you again for your time today, guys. Thank you. You're awesome. Thanks, Ricky.